Hello, welcome back to the second part of my uh, boxed Amiga shooters collection. About 60 more games here, all in the medium or large size box, the cardboard cartons. Uh, and these are where the, um, the better ones are for the most part. The first part they included all the, uh, the plastic case ones, which usually is associated with the earlier releases on the Amiga. Perhaps not the so good shooters. These ones, there are some classics in here, some rarities of course, some obscurities works okay we'll get on with it shall we uh more or less alphabetical a bit like that um yeah so we'll start with a then first up then the high tech software alien world uh it's got um come out in the commodore 64 and atari as well basically a horizontal shooter and it also includes um some bits where your creature you play can actually walk along the, the platforms of the ground you know it's not bad, you know, not great, not bad. Next up then, first of quite a few Defender clones actually. A good one, Anarchy. Silex label, which is part of Psygnosis. Nice, colourful, very playable Defender clone. Really good. Okay, game that was actually better on the Commodore 64, apparently, but I've never played it on that one. Armour Light. This is so tough, this game. This could be so precise. Looks lovely, looks really good. I can tell by them screens. But, uh, oh, too tricky and it's just too frustrating for me. Next up then, Atomic Robo Kid. Um, this, it's not great for me. I mean, I, just, I don't find it that playable. Just a bit too awkward in places. Time for a classic, one of the best vertical scrolling shooters, Battle Squadron. One or two player, the sequel, although I think it's set before Hybris, a game called Hybris. This came out after, of course, but uh, set before. Very, very, very good. Good soundtrack, it's very playable, awesome. Okay, a bit of comedy in this one. Brad Zoom in Better Dead Than Alien. Um, this is like a Galaxian Galaga, it's got that sort of thing in it for the most part. A few comedy moments, a few big bosses. It's okay, but it just gets boring after a while. Another one with a bit of humour. Bomber Bob. This is basically a vertical scrolling with bombing sections. Also, after so long, it has uh, 3D tunnel sections, which are quite tricky to uh, navigate. Okay. Moving on to C. Cardiacs. It's basically a horizontal shooter and it's a place score every so often in the middle of the screen. Never got on with this one. Got re released on the Team 17 label, which is a bit surprising really because I didn't consider it that much in quality. Okay, a rarity. I've said this a few times, so apologies for that. Darius Plus. <sighs> so, it's a shame. I love the Darius series games, you know, I've got a PlayStation, a PSP and so on. The Amiga version, the ship's too big, the area's too small, it's very uh, tough, love the artwork, it's, uh, it's just a shame, could have been so much better. Defender 2, which features Defender, Defender 2 and Stargate. Just about to see that, it's all right. Recent pickup, Dominator, features uh, vertical and horizontal scrolling. Uh, it's not particularly uh, great, to be honest. Okay, a roll cake conversion, Dragon Breed, big, solid, colourful graphics. Uh, I think about six levels. You can uh, jump off your dragon on certain levels, and uh, so two of you are shooting, you and your dragon. Curl up in a ball, protect yourself. Dragon game, Dragon Spirit, plastic case, plastic cases. It's an okay conversion on the Amiga. 
Uh, perhaps we prefer the PC Engine version. Another recent addition, Forgotten Worlds. Uh, good conversion on your Amiga. Core design, frenetic. Vertical scrolling, it's pretty good. Not actually got that far in it, really. I love the first couple of levels, to be honest. Next up, one of the earlier games, which got a cardboard box, Gold Runner. Um, super fast scrolling in places. Uh, very impressive smooth scrolling. The game itself is a, uh, mm, it's all right. Typical waves flying at you. One of the all-time classics. Saw the uh, sequel earlier. Hybris. Uh, pretty hard to find these days. Hybris. Uh, fantastic uh, all-round game to be honest. Vertical scrolling. Really, really good. Okay, um, number early one. PC Hits re-release. Hyperdome. It's a below average horizontal scrolling game. Uh, never done a grand to um, gameplay of that one. I assume it's on YouTube. Okay, another one of them Defender clones of sorts. Insects in space. Flying a... Uh, Plays the topless angel basically, collecting the babies, shooting the mutants. <laughs> Next up is a, uh, yeah, quite a rarity. Quite pleased to get this one actually, intact. Different sort of power up system, you have to collect uh, like coins of sorts, and every so often you get a landing pad where you can pick up your power ups, choose which ones you want, sort of thing. So, something a bit different. Yeah, quite a rarity, quite nice to have. Next up is this Lethal Excess. This is one of my jewels in the crown. I had this back in the day, a copy of it. Um, Wings of Death 2, sequel to Wings of Death. One or two player, absolutely awesome music throughout the game. Joshin Hippel, uh, probably almost on a par with Chris Holdbeck. Uh, this is tough, very tough game. Another PC Hits game, Mega Phoenix, dynamic software, obviously Phoenix, see in the background there, nice to get the original box, not these re-releases, uh, early Synthesis game, Menace, pretty decent horizontal scroller, um, quite basic in places but then it was an early game. Good to play though. And finally in this section, Mr. Heli. I've never really played too much to be honest. Like that on the Amiga. Quite like it on the Amstrad actually. So there we go, that's A to M. Come up in a little while, be uh, N to Z. See you in a bit. back then okay next up then n to z uh, another 20 odd games to get through here starting with onion necronom quite a rarity uh this it's a highly polished game but i just can't get very far on it loads of levels uh you can see the screens there i think 
Nice artwork, some good music, a bit of techno in places. It's, um, it's just quite hard, there is a gameplay on YouTube, I'd recommend watching that. That's why I've never done a gameplay. <laughs> okay, next up, I'll say again, another rarity, but um, Outlands. Um, I was pleased to get this. This is quite almost 8 bit in places, but um, obviously it's not. Um, it's, it's good, it's got nice, nice little effects on it and stuff like that. But um, the firing rate of it is so slow, uh, it just makes it going quite hard. Nice little touches. Next up then, got this on quite a few systems. P47 Thunderbolt. I have to say, I have this, the uh, Amstrad version and the PC Engine version. And uh, I can't remember, I probably prefer the Amstrad version to be honest. They're all very good. Next up then, decent conversion, R-Type. Uh, yeah, it's all there on the Amiga, isn't it? Nice box. This was a swap actually, but then a swap. That's quite good. Followed by, of course, R-Type 2. Tough, very tough game. Only six levels in R-Type 2. Solid conversion though. Just rock hard. Next up then, another classic, St. Dragon. Uh, one of my favourite horizontal uh, scrolling ones. Um, brilliant. Nothing about it. it's really, really good. It does have a little bit of slowdown. There's a lot going on, especially on that second level. Next up, a recent edition. Only one copy I've ever seen. That's Scorpio. Now, if you're looking for R type but a versatile scrolling, this will be your game. Uh, it's faster and yeah, it's quite tough, just like the R type games. Um, you can just see a bit there, you can probably see that. Yeah, I come from Germany. Okay, next up is uh, quite a few Sega games got uh, shooters got ported to the Amiga, and uh, they're all kind of like bog standard in my view. There's definitely been one Scramble Spirits. Don't rate this going much at all. Shame, really, it could have been uh, decent. It has two effects where sometimes you're, you're close up. And sometimes you're like far away from the action. I can't explain you without showing you. But that's not going to <laughs> Next up then, Slayer. Nothing to do with the band. Maybe it should have been, because it's, it's kind of a bit like Zynaps in some ways. Uh, it's not very, uh, not very exciting. A bit unfair in places too. Next up is another one of them Sega games, Sonic Boom. Again, it's just middle of the road if you like, you know, it's not very exciting. Next up is a quite a decent old, old game, Space Assault. This one, another one of them games from Germany. A lot of them did come from Germany for me. Seems to be the place to get your uh, Amiga games, your rarities. Another Defender clone, Star Ray. This is a good, nice, colourful game as well. So there's a few of them for the Amiga. Very good. Uh, next up, if you look at this, Diger, if you don't know the game, you're probably thinking something like Mercs or Commando or something like that when you see the guy on the front. There's a helicopter, uh, shoot him up. See by the back. Um, yeah, very, I would say almost PD-ish like in places, public domain. Not very polished. Okay. One of the all-time classics, Swift. Swift stands for a colour thing, but it's still going for special weapons, something or other. The Amiga version is, I think, the best. I've played a few versions, I've seen quite a few versions, and uh, it's just fantastic. Continuous loading, it never stops loading, you never have to stop playing. Okay. The only tea game is the Oath. Another one from Germany. Uh, this looks quite good. I think there's only four levels. Did a gameplay of this a year or two back now. It's okay. Next up, UN Squadron. Yeah, it's okay. Nice and colourful. Thank you very fine to be honest. 
Next up then, um, Zombie Army here. This is the only version I've ever seen, only copy I've sorry I've ever seen on eBay. Venom Wing. Uh, box is absolutely knackered. Taped up to death, but <laughs> still knackered. Never seen another version, so I had to get it. Horizontal scrolling for two levels. And it keeps the horizontal scroll on the other two levels, but it uh, works its way up the screen. Quite different, no in-game music. This music's brilliant. Uh, some interesting sound effects. You play as a ship or the eagle. In the eagle, you're invincible, but you can't fire. So. Pros and cons. Next up then, white sharks, Carcharodon. It's another one in games, I think flies at you billion miles per hour. Looks fantastic in places. Uh, not got very far on it. Again, it's one of the gameplay. <sighs> old, old classic, Wings of Death. This is uh, seven levels of vertical squad in action. Very, very good. Music again from Joshin Hipple. Awesome stuff. Uh, Classic for some, Zenon. Hands on the, uh, the big box release eventually. I actually prefer this in some ways to the sequel. Of course, Zenon 2. I'm not a fan of Zenon 2. Some people are, some people ain't. But I'm not. Uh, yeah, it all looks polished. Music back in the day, obviously, was something, but that appeals to me now. But, um, you stop at the shop, it has to load it in and all this stuff just interrupts the gameplay. I think the enemies in some way get on my nerves. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Okay. Cross out. That is cross out, not X out. It says cross out in the intro. Underwater action, horizontal scrolling. Equip your ship by collecting uh, or shooting stuff. You have to get a bank at the end of the level. Go to the shop, equip your ship. Have an army of ships. That's hard work. On to Z. Three games with Z. Zeriax. Pretty good, pretty tough. Uh, quite a decent game though. Very decent game. Sequel to Cross Out. Z Out. This is more like a sequel to R Type than it is to Cross Out. Uh, very similar to uh, the R Type games actually. Again, fantastic music from uh, Chris Holzbeck, of course. Very good. The final game in this section, Zynax. Yeah, I mean, Zynax is great on the 8 bits. Yeah, doesn't really excel too much on the 16 bit machines. There we go. Okay, that's all the medium boxes. All that's left then is about a dozen big box games. Back in a minute. Okay then, I'll come back to the, the final section, probably. It's the big box games. Still with me? Yeah, cool. Okay, first up then, be a record sleeve version. That's a Viper, which is like a, a typical Galaga, Galaxian, 
Really good actually, pretty good for its uh, age. Okay, big box time. First up, Anios. This is uh, one of them viewed from above, which is like a 360 degree shooter. I've never got into it to be honest, I've never got into them shooters. Oh, it looks nice and everything. That's one of these days, and of course, love the artwork as uh, you get from Signosis. Next up, one of the best ever, in my view anyway, the Pidgeot. <clears throat> uh, this pretty much has it all for a horizontal shooter. It's a gradient sort of selection, weapon selection bar. Five very different levels. Uh, the music from Chris Holsbeck is just exceptional. Uh, fantastic. It's, almost wish there was more of it, or some sort of sequel or something, but hey ho. Next up then, Apocalypse. Uh, this is a helicopter shoot em up, obviously. Uh, you have to rescue your soldiers on the ground and stuff like that, or POs, POWs, things like that as well. It's alright actually, I've not played it that much, but it's alright. Okay, AJ game only, Banshee. Quite a late shooter on the Amiga, and CD32 for that matter. Uh, very good, lacks in game music. Apparently the CD32 version is going to have perhaps two extra levels and extra music, but uh, that never materialised. It's got a box standard, more or less. Uh, loads of little details in the game. Fantastic. Next up then, core design again. Blaster. Uh, again, this is another one viewed from above. It goes uh, 12 levels, it goes all around, 360 degree. Looks fantastic. I think the music's quite good, but I've just never got into it. Never got into it. Next up then, Gremlin Disposable Hero. Uh, this has one of the games where fine details, nice little touches like reflection on the water and stuff like that. Different sort of power up system, I'm sure you know this anyway. Um, basically, collect the blueprints, and when you've got the energy, you can actually add your um, power ups on. Nice, nice bosses too. The artwork's very similar to another game called Star Glider 2. Interesting. Next up, a rarity, Fantastic Voyage. Don't think I've seen another floppy version. I've seen it uh, once or twice for the CD TV. This, um, based on the film, of course. Nice shiny box. Um, not a great shooter though. It's, it's quite polished in places, but it's yeah, I've not got very far of it. <laughs> Next up, an oldie, Gold Runner 2, which is much worse than Gold Runner 1. Seems like all the good elements that were in Gold Runner, not that many, but uh, most of them are missing from this one. Next up, another 1200 only Overkill, which is another Defender clone of sorts. Uh, it's like Defender on Acid, this is really is steroids or something. Will graphic sort of thing. Okay, coming in time again. Pegasus. Uh, loads of levels. Uh, they vary between a bit of platform and horizontal shooting uh, sections. You can see the unicorn. Nice and colourful. A bit samey. Okay, one of the other, one of the best known shooters of course. Project X. Um, I think this game does has it all, more or less. It doesn't have in-game music apart from when you come up to a boss. Two types of music at the intro and the menu. But uh, visually, very impressive. It's very smooth. Again, it's a power system similar to Gradius, you know, the bar on the bottom. Um, has atmosphere, but it doesn't have music. It does have atmosphere. It's tough. I feel that's saying it's tough. Very good. Next up, Stardust. This was a uh, phenomenal at the time. Uh, asteroids on acid, if you like, or something. Plus, it has them, uh, you can't really see it there, but the tunnel sections, ray trace tunnel sections were so impressive, even on a box handed Amiga. Very good. Uh, okay, Iridium 2. Um, not got far this. I don't know, I just make so many mistakes in this game, I just give up a bit after a while. A very polished, obviously, 
16 bit gloss over to Iridium, which I'll say classic. It's not very good for me. XP8. That means something, I'm not, I'm not sure. Interesting story, oh, interesting story, interesting ending to this one. If you think you're defending, actually you think you're defending Earth or something, there's a normal version plus an AJ version. Don't differ that much, I don't think. But when it turns out, you're actually attacking Earth in the end. Visually quite nice than that, but uh, a little bit dull. I did realise, I'll put that at the bottom here. Agony. Nice uh, bit of piano music at the start of it. Music in game is not very good, but obviously something about Agony, visually it's very impressive. And the, the box, the pre presentation is uh, something else. I don't know the rest of the reason why this fetch is usually around the £100 mark these days. Or close to. I think mine cost me about 80 and that was about 8 years ago. So it shows. Fantastic box. Good game. Not the best shooter, but a good game. All right then, that is all my shooters. Uh, but between 105, 110, I think. Oh, lost count. Uh, good stuff. Do love these shooters. I'm still on the lookout for a few extras, a few others. But I know the ones when they do sharp, which is very, uh, very rare. They just go for between one, two hundred pound, maybe even more. It's a couple of buy it now. It's like four hundred pound, and I'm thinking, I'm not paying that for a game. But, uh, they come up an auction, I'll be interested. It's not essential, but I do like them shooters, obviously. So there we go, that's that's it really. Hope you enjoyed that, uh, two two videos. Also, this one had the uh, big box going, it's perhaps a bit more interesting. Uh, that's it really, thank you for watching. Enjoyed it, uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.